this is our CT Stud Square. Named after Charlie Stud, you know the English cricketer? I do, Norman Grubb's uh, father-in-law. <laughs> That's right. And um, here we have all these uh, buildings that uh, are going up here. Um, it's hard for anybody to appreciate the development here because this was all mountainside. Rock. Yeah, what a job it's been to get rid of the rocks here. Now Mark, you, you, you can have a look at this. And that wasn't done by a bulldozer. Well, just this was done by a bulldozer. The rest was done by picks. I don't know how many picks we went through here. Yeah. You know, I've seen maybe maybe a hundred picks. Yeah. Burn, bent over. And we sent students home very physically but fit, oh, at no extra charge. They, they, they still write to me and say, thank you, thank you. Yeah. One guy from Ethiopia said to me, when I was docking those uh, rocks there, uh, the rocks were really breaking me. I wasn't breaking the rocks. Yeah. And so he's a diplomat today in the African Union. We have this temporary library here, these rooms, three rooms out here. It's not ideal, but it's okay just for now. Okay. Uh, and when you say temporary library, what do you mean by that? I mean that we are starting to construct a proper library. Okay, and then what will these rooms become? Well, we need uh, offices and smaller classrooms and yes. games room, you know. Yes, of course. students. So these facilities are much needed for that. And uh, hopefully uh, the library should be ready by next year this time. I'm praying and believing God for that. This has cost more money than all the buildings put together, Mark. And it's going to be the flagship of William Carey School. Praise the Lord. Tell me more. Well, it can seat 140 students in theater-style um, seating. Um, as you can see, these pillars here holding up this uh, porch area. I'm believing God that... Uh, will turn out men and women to be pillars in the communities, wherever they are. Amen. And hold up the bloodstained banner of the cross. Praise the Lord. Here we are. It smells like new construction in this room. Yeah, plenty of construction. All the walls will be paneled. And, uh, and when you say paneled? Wood paneling. Okay. Along the line of what's in the, uh, in the sanctuary? Um, Yes, similar to that. All right. Similar to that. So all the walls and the floor will be paneled as well, wood paneled. In the room up at the top. Well, that's our reception area. No, I mean the one uh, in the right center. in the center. Yes, yeah, right from there we'll project our movies and audiovisual presentations. Okay. Mm. Do we intend to audio and, and video record lecturing? Yes, it will all be done. From there it will be set up permanently. And here we have the lecturer's lounge where it will be fully equipped with teas and coffees and restroom and the whole business here and they can come through straight on to the lecture theater. Well, this is our entrance to our chapel. Okay. Used every day for our um, devotions, student devotions in the mornings, very early. 5.30 we meet every morning and uh, Saturday mornings at 5.00 and uh, our prayer meetings in the evenings and our services on Sundays are all held right here. Here's the chapel with uh, all the blessings of the Lord. All this is what the Lord has put together. Amen. We would not have been able to afford any of these chairs and flooring, but uh, just miraculously the Lord provided. Yes. And uh, it's a nice chapel. Yes, I'm just going to pan this while you're talking, but w you, you have all this theater seating, mm -hmm. and then this nice wood floor, and uh, tell me a bit about how that came to be. Well, it, uh, we would call it rubbish. That's what it was, rubbish. Those seatings were thrown away by a cinema company. Nobody wanted them, but we took them in and got them sanded down, put new cushions, new material, and here you are. That's all it cost us yeah. to have these cinema seats. One man's trash is another uh, man's treasure. Well, you know what, it keeps talking to me about our God, what he takes, yes. and how he changes us. Yeah. So everything here 
is a testimony. The flooring come from a church in Pine Town. They bulldozed the church down because they were making way for a new road. Uh huh. And I said it'll be a tragedy to have this flooring thrown in a trash heap. And I got it there and got it. And uh, for years, people knelt on this floor and prayed. Hmm. And so it's found a good place where we now kneel on it and pray and serve and worship the Lord right here.